You mentioned that Jesus' disciples were all 20 years old or younger. You also mentioned making a decision to follow Jesus at 11 and feeling God's calling on your life at 14. What would you say to encourage young people to listen for God's calling in their lives at an early age? I would say, first of all, take seriously the commitment that you made at Rock and or at the church or with your youth leader. Don't just take that lightly. You've made a commitment as young people to be disciples of Jesus Christ. Hold on to that commitment because that's your grounding. That's your center. And that, that, that commitment that you made is what's going to take you through the rest of your life, uh, your life's journey. And so I would say, hold on to that commitment. Secondly, stay connected. Stay connected to a youth group, to a prayer circle, or whatever way you can find that fellowship and the learning. I would also stay, say, become a part of a learning church, a learn, accept learning opportunities. By that, read scripture. Discuss scripture, digest scripture, be filled and fed by the word of God. This is your strength. This is your meat. And as you connect in community, read God's word, and that strengthens you to move out as disciple makers. That's how I did it. And that's what I still do. And that's where I found my, my strength and understood my call was to share my faith and to make disciples of other people. Many young people made a decision to follow Jesus on Saturday night at Rock. What would you say to those who have had difficulty following Jesus on a daily basis since Rock? I, I do understand how it feels to be got, get caught up in the moment. And Rock was such a powerful experience, an overwhelming experience for some young people. Uh, many of them will go back and have gone back to their home churches and they have not found that community that encourages and supports what they experienced uh, because we don't have churches with long, large, large youth groups. Uh, we don't have enough uh, youth leaders who are committed to the growth, spiritual growth of our young people. And so I would say to those persons, find somebody. It does not have to be a person in your church, but find another young person who has made a confession of faith and befriend that person or ask that person to journey with you. Find someone else, maybe in the community, in your school, in, as many of you are going off to college, but find someone you can trust to walk with you. If you will remember, Jesus sent the disciples out by two. He never said, you go and do it alone. So the, 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 the companionship strengthens your call and your witness. I would also, if a youth group has not been started in my church, I would pull on my pastor. And I would say, Pastor, it's all right to have these people here, have church members who are 50 and 40 and 60 and 80, but we're missing my generation. What are you going to do about it? How old do you have to be to be a disciple? What do you have to do to have Jesus come into your life? 